Theo Sultan here. Thank you all so much for tuning in. So this video is going to be for the empaths out there, those who are very sensitive to psychic, emotional, and mental energy and spiritual energies. Those who kind of take on the energies of other people, feel the duty to do so, or are just very, very, very psychically sensitive. This video is just for you all, or if you have a loved one who is. So. Working here at Blossoming Path, what I come into almost on a daily basis is someone coming in looking to remedy um, their psychic or energetic sensitivity, right? They just feel the emotions of other people, energy gets stuck in their fields, they feel overwhelmed in crowds due to all the energy going around, um, those sorts of things. That happens often, often, often. So one thing I always recommend for those sorts of people um, is some kind of protective stone. Amethyst is very good. Chevron Amethyst, even better. What Amethyst does is it puts a bubble of protection around you and shields you from any and all negative external energies, right? Another one is Black Tourmaline. Black Tourmaline is a huge, I, I believe it's cornerstone for anyone who's into the metaphysical field. Black Tourmaline is amazing. It's an amazing protector. Here, right here. I have it on right here. Right? Black Tourmaline is excellent. Those who are psychically sensitive, you'll still be able to feel other people's energies because this isn't block out your senses. But what Black Tourmaline does is it protects you from their energies getting into your auric field. Because when something's in your auric field, it can go in and influence your chakras, your mind, your emotions. It's, it's gross. It's gross. So we want their energy to stay with them and our energy to stay with us, right? So that's huge. Black Tourmaline is huge. So what you do is once you get the black tourmaline, you sage it, right? Um, you sage it, and then you give it a job. You hold it in your left hand, right hand over. You call in your allies, your spiritual support. You ask them to please bless, enhance, and enchant the tourmaline to do X, Y, and Z, to put a bubble of psychic protection around me, to keep any and all negative external energies out of my auric field here and now, a whole woman and some motor be. Right? You say that with intention and conviction. Okay? Then you put it in your left pocket, or or if you have a purse or even like a, a mojo or a medicine bag, you put it in one of those, that will keep the energy with you. Okay, you can even make it into a necklace. For those of you who do wire wrapping, if you wrap like tourmaline to copper, it's very powerful, very powerful, right? Okay, so black tourmaline is a staple for anyone who's empathic or psychically sensitive. Okay, the next tool is saying what's theirs is theirs, what's mine is mine, what's theirs is theirs, what's mine is mine, what's theirs is theirs, what's mine is mine. Saying that three times in a row, you can feel the energy release, and it, it separates, right? And the more you say that, the more you use that, that statement will actually go into your auric field. And so it will be, be become more natural over time. And the more you say it, the more powerful that statement grows in you, okay? So if I'm at work or wherever and I'm just feeling like other people's stuff, like their anger or their sadness or their negative emotion, I just say, what's theirs is theirs, what's mine is mine, what's theirs is theirs, what's mine is mine, what's theirs is theirs, what's mine is mine, right? And I visualize it just sending away, okay? And usually any kind of weird energy I have on me just goes real quick, okay? Another really powerful, powerful, powerful statement to use is any and all energies other than light as commanded by uh, creator in the name of you know whoever else you subscribe to I command to go to the light so you can say any and all energies other than love and light as commanded by the crone in the name of the mother I command to go to the light saying that three times just whisks that energy out of your auric field okay or you can even use your patrons or different spirits or even elementals just whatever your your spiritual higher power is whether even your higher self you can do that and that will just whisk the energy out Okay, another one that's very, very, very crucial, especially if you're around like narcissists or people who are just overly uh, manipulative on a physical, mental, and emotional level, that also links out to a spiritual level as well, okay, because it's all connected. Um, with narcissists, what you do, I'm just going to stand up quickly for the sake of the video, is you put your hands into a triangle like this, and then you're going to cross your legs over one another, okay? So your hands are like this, and you have your legs crossed. And what that does is it, it closes your energy off to that person, okay? So their stuff isn't gonna get into your fields and mess with you, and you're not gonna walk away from that conversation feeling overwhelmed or negative or stressed. It's just, okay, all right, okay. Their anger is just kind of hitting a wall, so to speak, okay? 
another one that I picked up on someone else's YouTube channel. I can't remember who it was, um, but it was excellent advice. What you do is you, you visualize you're wearing like a leather jacket. <laughs> and so what you do is you start at your root chakra, which is your, your tailbone. And you visualize the zipper right there. And you zip it up and you close it. And just doing that, I can feel the energy just go. And then, again, that protects your chakras from any kind of um, anyone who's energetically uh, trying to take your energy, um, psychic vampirism, all of that. That will help protect you from it. Okay, that will help protect you from that. Another one is to use energy, right? Using energy is really important for shielding, right? Empaths, again, extremely sensitive people. Um, and, and not all of them have the tools necessary to uh, operate most um, efficiently or most um, joyously, okay? So what you can do is, depending on what system you work with or what your spiritual practice is, is you can visualize energy coming up from the earth and swirling around your body, right? You just take it and you swirl it. And then you say something over and over again, like protection, 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 or putting a shield of ultimate universe protection around me to shield me from any and all shadow negativity and gray and keeping it out of my own field here and now, right? And then just visualize that, that shield right there, okay? Another one that I love myself is to visualize as if you were standing inside of a disco ball, right? It's a one-way mirror. You can see out, people can't see in. Okay, this helps with um, people who are intrusively reading your energies and also just for overall psychic protection. Even helps against like any if someone's trying to hex you or anything, this helps with that. That that mirror visualization sends it back. Okay, so those are a few tools to have, right? There's definitely some more. One other one that I do recommend doing on a regular basis again, visualize this fear of white light or black energy around you. Black is very um, element of the north, earthy, ancestral, and see any and all cords going both inbound and outbound are reflected. Okay, so what this does is if you cord to someone, it'll bounce back and hit you, and you'll go, whoa. Or if someone else tries to cord in, it bounces it back. Okay, so I recommend doing that, you know, empowering that visualization every once in a while, right, with that intention set, right, feeling it there, okay. Another one, guys, is just to cut cords. Um, if you have, like, a small a small pocket knife on you, uh, if you have just, you can just use your two fingers, right, you visualize it a flaming, right, and you just cut, cut all cords, cut to your left, cut to your right, Right, just cutting all any and all negative external influences away, right? That that helps tons. That helps tons. Okay, and then every once in a while, um, if you're not familiar with candle magic, then I, I do suggest reading a little bit more on it. But every once in a while, you know, every waning moon or every full moon, I do recommend just doing some kind of reversal, some kind of reversal magic. Right? You can get a red and black candle and a white candle. White candle, call in your allies. Hold the red and black, charge it, give it the job to send back any and all shadow negativity and gray sent to you on a subconscious, conscious, or superconscious level, physically, multi mentally, emotionally, spiritually, and soulfully, sending it back here and now, who it's going to be, right? Or if it's really serious, you can add some more, some other uh, symbols to that or whatnot, okay? So that reversal, what that does, that just kind of clears any negative psychic debris that's being sent towards you, whether it be ill wishes or anything, because... You know, empaths are extremely sensitive. So even if it's not on their work field, they can still kind of feel that energy that's out there, right? So just sending back and doing some kind of banishing or reversal, you know, uh, maybe once a month even, is very, very healthy. Very healthy. And then remember, if you do do a banishing or reversal, make sure you do something to bring in some good, some good energy. Alrighty. So... That's all for this little tidbit today. I hope you all enjoyed this. I hope you can apply these tools to your real life. And yeah, go get out there. Thank you so much for watching. Have a blessed, blessed week.